Hi, friends. Thank you for joining us again here today. This is my amazing husband, Nathan, who's going to be our student model. Today, we're going to work on myofascial release. Myofascia is a, a connective tissues that are very uh, strong and thin, protecting all the muscles and the bones. And sometimes they uh, get really contracted and create chronic pain. Um, sometimes in the low back, maybe in the hips, maybe in the IT band and thighs. So for these, we're going to use some tools. Uh, one of them is a tennis ball, which is easier, more accessible for everyone. This is a myofascial ball, which is a little bit edgier, um, but tennis ball is a good alternative. And then we also have uh, what's called a foam roller that's uh, really available at most retailers. And this is a great little um, tool to make an investment. We're also finish, gonna finish up with a block. Um, if you don't have a block, it's fine. You can do the same kind of thing on a tennis ball or a foam roller. And I also have here uh, golf balls. Now golf balls tend to be a little bit more edgy so it might be a little bit too hard. What I've done here is I've put three golf balls in an old sock and uh, it's a little bit easier to move around on. But remember that might be a little bit too edgy for you. So we'll put that to the side and we're gonna start on our back. So go ahead and lie down on your back, Nathan. And just uh, initially begin to bring your feet flat on the floor, your knees are bent. And before we do anything, just begin to notice your body, notice the area of tension. Notice the area of spaciousness. And then go ahead and pick up your head an inch off the ground and place it back down so that your chin is not jutting up to the sky. And begin to notice what's going on inside the body. So just tune in. Noticing your inhalations, noticing your exhalations. And even though sometimes we tend to pay attention to the areas of contraction and tightness, see if you can find even spaciousness in parts of the body. Release the jaws, release the chest. A lot of times we tend to hold tension in these areas, unnecessary tension, even the belly. See if you tend to hold your belly and see if you can let the belly be soft, relaxed. And then just begin to inhale through the nose and exhale out through an open mouth. And slowly draw the knees towards your chest. Rock a little side to side. Just giving yourself a nice little massage on the low back. And for the remainder of the class, just stay with that nice, easy breathing. So you don't need to change your breath to any way. Initially, we're going to start with the uh, tennis ball. So I'd like you to go ahead and put the tennis ball, Nathan, under this top of the tie where it's called gluteus medius. Um, this is where some of uh, we hold some tension. So put the ball there and then just go ahead and lie down on the ball. And we might want to roll back and forth a little bit, and then you'll find that spot, that perfect spot where it's a little bit edgy. And you want the pressure to be gentle. This is what I was talking about, like the golf balls can be a little too edgy. So make sure that once you find it, it's not like you're trying to squeeze it so hard. You want the, a gentle pressure. You find that spot and then pause there. How's that feel? Uh, feel okay. <laughs> Good. So initially you roll around a little bit in this spot, and then once you find this spot, you just want to stop and just allow the pressure 
of the ball or whatever you have underneath that spot to release the tension. And while you're releasing that, make sure that you're not holding any tension in the jaws or the shoulders. So allow the inhalation and exhalation continue through the body. Inhaling through the belly, just like you did at the beginning of the class, and then exhale out through an open mouth. And sometimes it really helps to send the breath to wherever you're feeling the tension. So imagine that you have a hand of a massage therapist right there where there's so much tension. And with each inhalation, that inhale becomes your massage therapist. That's as if they're, the inhalation is opening more space. Very nice. And after a little one, you may begin to feel a little bit of a release. If you feel that, you can go ahead and switch to the other side and see how that feels on the other side. And you'd be surprised. Sometimes you find little areas of tension that you didn't know it existed. So just release, just find that spot and allow it to settle in. Allow it to work the fascias open, the connective tissues releasing. And continue with that breath. Continue inhaling and exhaling through an open mouth. That Exhalation through an open mat allows you to relax a little bit more. So you can stay here for as long as you like to. For the sake of this class, we're going to move on, but feel free to pause the video and then come back, continue on. And we're going to put the tennis ball to the side and move on to the foam roller. So the foam roller is just going to go directly under the hips. Make sure that it's not under your kidney, but go ahead and lift the hips off the ground as you inhale and slide the foam roller underneath the buttocks. Feel good. And then just slide back forward on top of the foam. Yeah, just like that. Now I know that you had said you feel a little bit more tension on the left side of your hip. So can you roll over just a little left side where you were in that, in that spot that you felt on the ball, that you felt the tension? And once you feel that, then on, with this one, I want you to roll it back and forth. How's that feel? Good. Yeah, and I've never done this before. You, um, it feels like you find a spot and you just, it's so delicious and juicy, you just want to stay right there. It feels like, just like a, uh, literally a release, like a, like someone is just pulling the fibers apart from each other. And then again, feel free to stay for as long as you like to. This is a nice way of just releasing. You can do this anytime as you're watching TV or reading, or but it's always good to just set aside a few moments to yourself so that you're not distracted by other things. And then if you'd like to, you can switch to the other side, see if you find any areas of tension on that side. We always have one side that is 
more contracted habitually than other sides. So is this your easy side or tighter? How's that feel? Good. Good. Again, you can pause here for as long as you like, pause the video and then continue on with us. But I think we lost Nathan already. <laughs> Go ahead and come back to the center. Lift your hips up and, um, yeah, the tail, that area, the tailbone looks, feels a little, it feels good all the time. The next couple of areas that I'm going to go, uh, they're a little bit edgy, so make sure you give yourself a break and don't go crazy with this. Um, so what I'd like you to do is inhale, lift your hips off the ground, and then slide the foam roller out. No, no, completely out. Yes. And then I'm going to show you here, and, and this is the next one that I'd like you to do. So you um, sit on top, like so, and putting your left hand, let's start with the left hand, and then extend the left leg straight, your right um, knee is going to be on top with your right foot flat on the floor. And you're going to go back and forth on the foam roller this way. So there is a thing called the IT band, the iliotibial band right alongside of the leg that gets really, really tense all the time. So this really get that and it's very, very edgy. So make sure that you just take it easy. But don't uh, try not to sit back or lean forward. We're going to do that in another practice. I want you to see if you can really stay on that side body. Just roll it back and forth all the way, maybe from your knee to your hip. You want to try that? Okay. So go ahead and sit on your side. Extend the left leg all the way straight to this wall. And then the right foot comes in front. Good. And then just roll it back and forth. And it's going to feel really edgy on that IT band. Do you feel it? OK. So I want you to keep breathing. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. You can allow that foam roller to come all the way to your knee to exactly what the IT band connects to the structure of the knee. It's very edgy. <laughs> yes, it is. This is not one of people's favorite, for sure. OK. And then you can try it on the other side, see how that feels um, from side to side. So make sure that you're not leaning back or leaning forward. Really try and stay on the side as much as you can. And immediately you'll notice that there is a difference. Generally, if you have any sort of knee issues or even sometimes ankle issues um, can be really related to this tight IT band. And just by releasing that IT band, you'll be able to get rid of a lot of that chronic pain. You're done? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, one more that we're going to do is another one that not many people like. And this one is going to be on top of your thighs, so the quadriceps. And for this one, you just want to lie down on your belly and then just roll back and forth on top of your quadriceps. And again, you can go all the way to the pelvis and then all the way down to the knees. And generally, excuse me, generally for me, 
the lower I come down towards my patella is when I feel this most. But see if, how that feels for you. Yeah, so you're just moving back and forth on top of your... So this, this really gets all the quadricep muscles. How's that feel? Oh, good. Kuchulu. <laughs> Hi, Kuchulu. Good. So those are some really, really good um, practices to help you release that myofascia. And then we're going to end with um, on your back. So go ahead and lie down on your back. Your head is going to be this way. And I want you to, if you have a block, this is a really good one to practice with. I want you to pick up your head and put the block underneath your head. Just the bottom of the block is going to be just at the base of your skull. Yes. So your neck is going to be hanging up. And there are two, actually, there is a, yeah, there is a really good, um, strong set of muscles back there that uh, keeps our head up, basically. So um, those are the muscles that we're going to relax. Could you look, can you move here? Come here, please. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Good girl. So go ahead and turn your head all the way to the left. Nice. Now notice where your nose is. And then bring your nose halfway back to the center. Yep, just like that. Now you'll feel a little bit of tension in the back of your neck. So I want you to just kind of pause there and slowly work your uh, back of the neck muscle in that, on that block. So you're not really pressing too hard. In, in fact, if you press too hard, uh, you know, there's a sort of a resistance. So just kind of massaging it nice and gentle. It's very gentle, but you feel a kind of a release in that area. You can also do that same thing with a tennis ball. And tra practice, try it both uh, ways and see which one works for you. Sometimes the tennis ball might roll out um, a little too much. So I find that for this one, the block works a lot better. How's that feel? Good. And then come back to the center, pause there for a moment, and go ahead and take your head all the way to the right. And just notice where your nose is and just bring your head back just halfway. Good. And then just kind of massage that area nice and gentle. Be very, very gentle with the back of the neck. You're not really digging into the block. Good. And this is actually a really good one to do regularly because especially if you're on your smartphone or your laptop quite a bit and you're um, looking down, the, the muscles in the back of the neck tend to get, get really tense. So this would be a good um, practice to do regularly to release all the tension from the back of the neck. Good. And then coming back to the center, just pause there for a moment. Just really feel the difference between when we started the practice and when you are finished. See if there's any, notice if there's any difference. Notice if there's more space created.
and just relax for a few minutes before you wrap it up, really enjoying this moment of release. Letting the breath be completely natural. And just know that your body has the ability to heal from within. That we all have the capability to create an environment inside the body for healing to happen naturally. Sometimes the habitual tensions that we create or the tension that we create is created from habitually holding our posture a certain way. So just be mindful that you can create the environment of healing in your body. And you can stay here for as long as you like to, resting in this pose. And if you're ready to come up, just begin to gently deepen your breath. Inhaling through both nostrils. Exhale out through the left nostril. Inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out through the right nostril. And give yourself a lot of gratitude and appreciation for creating this space to take care of yourself so that you can be healthy and healed and whole. And then as you're ready, gently begin to roll over to one side and rest for a moment. And with the strength in your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat. <laughs> Thank you for joining our family t this evening. Namaste. <laughs>